Hey guys, it's Brie from Nerds of the West. I'm here today to unbox Mary Purcells by Elizabeth Hargrave. You may know her as the designer of Wingspan. So we are super excited to get our hands on this game. It's blowing up online. The rule book looks super pretty. All the mechanics of the game look super pretty. So I am super excited to open it and get to see what sort of goodies are inside. So let's jump right into it. I'm gonna attempt to unwrap the plastic. We'll see if I can get it to work. Oh, yep. Look at that. Oh, yeah. We don't need that anymore. All right, so the box feels really nice. I'm not going to stroke it though, because that would be weird. So this game is all about the migratory patterns of monarch butterflies as they fly from Mexico all across North America. The designers have like gone straight into this in terms of like detail and scientific accuracy. They even called up entomologists and butterfly experts asking them all about this particular type of butterfly. So just monarchs. And I'm seeing some pop outs and I'm excited. Before I jump right on into popping out all of these little pretty flowers, we still need to prove whether or not the most important mechanic of a board game is at the bottom of the box. So keep that in mind as we're traveling through. So far we've got the rule book, which arguably is quite important on the top. And then we have the tiny little pop outs, which arguably are important on the top. So we need to see what's at the bottom. But first of all, let's see what we have here. We've got a bunch of little tokens that are going to get placed on the board as we play. Now, I haven't played this game before, so I am not the expert on what goes where. We're going to need to read a rule book for that, which is not why we're here. We're here to feel cardboard. Now, this is beautiful. The cardboard is really thick. It is super easy to pop these out. Like, I could do this all day. I'm enjoying myself immensely. And I'll try one of the big ones. Again, super easy. They're really thick cardstock. They don't bend at all. Super durable. Loving it. It's, oh, I'm trying to recall Wingspan. It's similar in terms of quality, I want to say. But, yeah. Not a single one that's screwed up. So that makes me happy. Now, we've obviously got a lot of flowers. These are double-sided because it, they're not secret. You know it's a flower. Whereas these have got just butterflies on the back because it's an important game mechanic that you don't get to know what these are until you flip them over in game. So cool little designs, which means that these can just kind of get chucked wherever and you know what flowers these are. So we're gonna do the pop test. We're gonna go, ooh. All right, so they're popping out super easy. They are still staying slightly attached, but I have absolutely no fear that these are gonna break, which is great. It's what I look for in a good pop out. So next up, we have the waste station board. You've got your three different colors. You get a bonus if you manage to get all of these in game. And then we have the board. The board folds super nicely. It's all flat. Let me unfold it. Yep. I like that. That's nice. It's really good cardstock. Again, the art is absolutely gorgeous. We've got the city that we start in with our monarch butterflies, which is Michoacan. And we have our spring, summer, and fall slots. And we've got all our gorgeous flowers all the way up. So really nice board, really pretty artwork. And we've made it to the bottom of the box. So there's a bunch of stuff down here. So we're gonna have to decide which one is the most important game mechanic. So first of all, We've got our little containers, which if you've ever played Wingspan, you would have seen these before. They've brought them back. They're super cute little containers that you can put your flowers in. And that means they're on the table. They're neat. They're not spread out anywhere. 
which is great for us because if you've ever seen us play a game that has many tokens, you will notice that some members of Nerds of the West adopt a more archaic approach where their tokens spread out halfway across the board, not naming any names, Tom. Um, moving on, we've got our adorable little wooden butterflies, which I love. I love wooden game tokens. The artwork is just line art, which is fine because it means that they're not super confusing because they're quite little, but you've got your five different colors because you've obviously got your five different players. So super easy. You're the pink player, you pick all the pink butterflies. So you've got your fours, your twos, your ones. They all mean something different in the game, but super easy to read. They've all got little numbers on the top so you can tell exactly what butterfly this is. And in this bag, we also have the all important dice, which I was super keen to get my hands on. It's a little wooden dice. It's got our little flowers on it and they are just, oh, they are so pretty. The artwork in this is so gorgeous. If this is not the most important piece, it's probably my favorite piece just because I like a good dice as many nerds here do. We don't have too many dice between us. What are you talking about? But this one is definitely really pretty and I'm really excited to use it. And then, we have our little cards, which are very tightly wrapped, and I am not sure if I will be able to get into them. They're so tightly wrapped that they're concaved. <laughs> I need help. After some off-screen magic, you will need either teeth or a sharp implement to get this open. We're gonna unwrap these cards and get rid of the offending plastic. So, you've got all your action cards in here which are the cards that let you move your butterflies throughout the game. So, got our butterflies, we've got very clearly how many moves they can do, and then some of the cards have split up actions. So, this one, you can move one butterfly four times, or you can move two butterflies twice. They're super easy to read, and again, the artwork, really, really pretty. You also have these cards, which we saw before. They are part of the away station. So every time you visit a way station, you get one of these cards. And you've got all of the different colors. So you've got your pink ones, your blue ones, and your green ones. And we've also got these little green cards. They're the same as the orange cards in terms of actions, but they are your bonus cards. And we've also got ones like this, which is super special. They've got their little pluses and they mean that you get to do bonus moves. So again, quality, good. Artwork, really good. Everything about this game so far is really great and really, really pretty. And lastly in the box, we have our little season goal cards. Not lastly in the box, never mind. Extra baggies. All right, guys. Final thing in the box were extra baggies. Whilst the dice might be my favorite, arguably extra baggies are incredibly important. And therefore, I don't even hate the fact that, according to Mariposas, extra baggies are the most important mechanic of their game. After that gold fine, we're gonna move on to the season goal cards. They've got really pretty artwork on them. They've got the artwork that's on the box on the back and they're separated into different colors for the different seasons. But they're super pretty and you can look at these cards and they're really super easy to understand. You know what all the symbols mean straight away, the iconography, super great. Anything that you don't know, the rule book will answer, which we're gonna look at right now because it is a beautiful, beautiful rule book. So, you thought the game was pretty. Well, the rule book is also pretty. Everything about this game is pretty. So, the artwork is all throughout the book. They've got their cute little migratory butterfly illustrations all the way through it, really dynamic colors. In terms of a rule book, Pretty easy to understand. There's no contestion over rules so far with what I've read. And there's also a cute little designer's note at the back where they're talking about 
how they did all their research. Because all throughout this game, like I said before, it's super scientific. So I know you get a lot of games that claim that they're educational and really they're just boring. This game looks super fun, super pretty, but it also does give you butterfly facts the entire way through, which I think is super cute. I've now discovered that monarch but like caterpillars only eat milkweed. So if you want to attract monarch butterflies into your land, you need to plant the milkweed flowers. So this is Mariposa's final thought. Gorgeous artwork, really good quality components. The rule book's pretty. The board is really gorgeous and it's such a big board, but I don't feel like it's going to break on the little joints. In terms of my favorite component, I do still really like the dice. However, I also really like the butterflies because I really love wooden components. They just feel a lot nicer to play with than plastic or really thin cardstock. So these are in tie for my favorite pieces. Other than that, if you want to see us play it, make sure you stay tuned to YouTube where we'll be getting a video out soon. We might play this on stream as well, so make sure you're following twitch.tv slash nerds of the west. If you want to know when we're putting this up, make sure you're subscribed to all our social media accounts, which will be in the link below. Other than that, I have been Brie from Nerds of the West and catch you guys later.